What's up guys? Welcome back in the mystery room. Just came off a live stream, but I wanted to touch more on the topic that I covered in my last live stream, especially if you missed it. And how right now the storm is here. It's actually storming here where I live right now. But the storm is here for crypto, yet many investors say the storm is coming. And whether that's true or not, this is a fatal mistake that I've seen happen numerous times, not just with the market, but crypto picks too. And I feel like if you're new, or even if you're experienced and you're hearing these opinions and you're starting to believe them, I'm trying to help you guys make money. I know that's like a surprising concept to some, but I really want to see you guys succeed. And the thing is this, right? This is why I tell you guys, don't get so drawn to what market we're in. Are we in a bear market, accumulation market, bull market, whatever. Those are nice to be aware of and study, okay? But look at the prices of what you're investing into objectively. And then say, okay, do I believe in it? If the answer is yes. What's the price like? Is it down? Okay, jump in. If you don't believe in it, jump out or stay away, okay? Bitcoin, 26K. Ethereum, 1600 Caspa, four cents. To name you a few crypto, right? Or Quant, $100. These are cryptos that are down massively, or at least to a pretty significant amount from previous all time highs. But what I keep seeing over and over is investors saying, but they have to come down lower. This is going to cause this to drop in price. Or we still got time for the September crash. It's happening. And this is not me saying those things can't happen. Of course they can. I'm saying if you're holding all your money and chancing for this catalyst that may or may not take place to get into the markets, you're really gambling at that point. Investing should be just that, investing. If you're gambling, then by all means, you can do that. Stay on the sidelines and wait and see what happens. But I'm telling you, I've seen this many times. It doesn't change. Retail always thinks they know where the market's going. They always do. TA guys always think they can read a graph and say Bitcoin's going to you know 15K, 20K, whatever. Even they don't know, guys. I was watching so many TA analysts back when Bitcoin was at the 17K range, and they kept saying 12K is next, 10K is coming. And it hit 15.5K and rebounded. So the majority of content on here, unfortunately, is garbage. I get it. That's one of the main reasons why I started my YouTube channel was not to be some funny entertainer. It's to give you guys information, help you guys make money. Well, I try to make money the old fashioned way with hard work, not with sponsored scam, you know, weird ways to do it. I'm doing it the old fashioned way. And listen, I'm telling you right now, this are great discounts. These are great discounts, but you're being told that there's more pain to come. Manipulation is always going to be in this market. Smart money, which by the way, they got that name smart money because they made money in previous cycles and are whales and now rich. Hence why they're called smart money. They will lie to you and say, this is happening. This is happening. This fun is real. These news stay away. They do this on purpose because they know retail is getting smarter. Some retail is getting smarter, right? We're starting to become more diamond hands, not paper hands. And so if you feel convicted in your crypto and they can't shake you out, what are they going to do? They're going to say, hey, you want to buy your crypto cheaper? The entire market's going to go down because what are you going to do? Maybe you won't panic sell that crypto because your conviction is rock solid, but maybe they tug on your string of being greedy and you're like, oh my God, I really like this crypto. I can buy more of this crypto at a cheaper price without putting more money down. Let me trade it. You sell it and then it rocket ships. I had someone who uh, traded Quant at $50, $55. He's like, oh, it's gonna come down to $40, $45. It went to $227. I would have lost my shit if that happened to me. It's crazy how volatile crypto can be. Bitcoin went from 15.5K, Bitcoin the most trusted, widely adopted, largest market cap crypto. 
and went to over 20K like that, less than a week. These discounts are not going to last forever. And that's what I'm trying to emphasize. Regardless if we see a bigger discount, I know we have the FOMC meeting taking place later this month, September 19th, September 20th. I don't expect Jerome Powell to be bullish on us getting past inflation already. I still think we have ways to go. He already pretty much said that last Fed meeting and also in Wyoming. So I do expect more pain. Also, if we do see another government shutdown here in the US from COVID or any some BS like that, then we're gonna see more panic. We're gonna see people save money and how they're gonna save money. They're gonna sell their investments, which is crypto stocks, metals. They're gonna cut back on their expenses. They're gonna be living at home, following the news, say, you know, listening to what they say to a T. Stay in your home. Don't go outside. Be in a bubble and just watch us. We will help you navigate through life. Life is scary. Please don't leave your house. So yes, if we enter that stage again, then we're probably gonna see a 2020 crash again when we see bigger discounts. But the reason why I DCA is so I can ensure both cases, right? I can ensure that I'm buying discounts now, and I can ensure that I have some money that if we see this crash again, take place later this month, I can DCA again. Am I gonna buy the dip and buy a lump sum if we do see a bigger crash? Probably not because I'm DCAing, that's one of the drawbacks. But in the chance, that this crash doesn't take place and Bitcoin, let's just say goes to 40K in a week, I can say that I don't miss out on the opportunity I'm doing now DCA. But if you're chancing it on waiting to buy the tip that doesn't come, you miss out on this opportunity. So it's not always the grass is greener. This is why I always tell you guys, don't be a gambler, be an investor. Like if you wanna gamble, go to a casino, play the slots, play roulette. I love roulette. Play some poker, play some blackjack. Crypto, I know there's more money to be made than stocks, but investing is the same no matter what market you're in, whether it's stocks, crypto, or precious metals. You buy low, you sell high, and yes, crypto is more speculating, hence why it's more volatile. There's no regulation yet. It's all you know hearsay, what can happen in the future. Stocks are companies that have you know a lot of market cap, teams, they're established, Precious metals have been around for ages. They've been around before even the dollar was around or cur any currency for that matter. Hence it has value and there's no speculation with that. Crypto has a lot going for it because it's more speculating, but it's also a double-edged sword. You can see more gains because the overall market cap for crypto is significantly less than stocks and precious metals, but it can also go down quicker because of panic, FUD, manipulation and bad catalysts so you have to know what you're holding right but remember you're not gambling you're investing so make sure you research make sure you don't fall for this manipulation and also make sure you're not too greedy guys greed is an emotional state it means you don't feel like you have enough of what you're holding like people are usually greedy because they're cheap or because they feel like they they have that fomo fear of missing out they don't have a lot of time left to invest and so they feel like they have to do an all or nothing approach buy a risky play buy a hundred risky plays or just go all in and try to swing trade. It all comes down to this. Fix this and you'll be a better investor. It's really not that hard, guys. You can make money if you buy low and sell high with great utility-based altcoins. Where most people F up is they become either too greedy, they wait too long, they sell at FUD or panic, or they constantly flip-flop. They just go from crypto to crypto and they're constantly just making never-ending trades. They're essentially a full-time trader and not an investor. Listen, if you want to be a trader, there's plenty of channels I'm sure that you can you can follow that can do that. Just you know, keep it separate. If you want to be a trader with certain cryptos, that's fine. Make it a separate portfolio. I have a buy and hold investment portfolio and I have a lottery portfolio. I keep them all separate. My micro caps, those are the ones that I, I trade here and there. If they go up 3x, because they have low liquidity, less holders, they can go down just as fast. So oftentimes when I make a 3x, like I recently did with Bluezell, I sold it and swing traded it and put those profits into a blue chip, which for me was Caspa, because I have high conviction in Caspa and it was down. I can always buy Blue Zell later if it comes back down, but I'm willing to walk away from it because it's a micro cap. And to me, I was okay with, with that decision. So trading has its place. Gambling, I guess, has its place too if, you, if you're into that. But buy and hold investing, the principles remain the same despite being a different market. 
okay? So just make sure you figure all this out. Make sure you don't miss out on this life-changing opportunity because that's what it is, guys. It's a life-changing opportunity, a generational wealth opportunity. And if you believe it, this is your time to double down and figure out what you can do to set yourself up in just two years. By the way, if you want to reach out to me, talk to me, share crypto on buying, sell, and trading, run your portfolio by me, or be a part of a support group of both beginner and advanced investors, or be ready for the bull cycle when you can take profits because I will be sharing those strategies there before I do here on YouTube. And feel free to join my Patreon and Discord. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below. It would be awesome to see there. Anyways, now I want to hear from you. Are you buying the dips in crypto now or are you waiting for a potential crash that may or may not happen at some point this month? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.